guys, it's Brittany, and today I have a very quick show and tell for you guys. Okay, so y'all don't mind the huge zit on my forehead. Please don't look at it. I'm just gonna kind of cover it. Anyway, last week I went on wig types and I ordered two wigs. I wanted to get some wigs that were more everyday in color and in length. So I decided to get the Altre Natural Yaki 18 inch one and a number two, and that's what I have on right now. And I also got Lena by Free Tress in a number two as well. I'm just gonna get into this wig. If you guys haven't seen my first video on the Altre Natural Yaki 18, I'll link it in the description box and somewhere on the screen. But this wig is so awesome. This is seriously one of my favorite wigs I've ever bought. I'm probably gonna keep this in my stash like I keep Nancy and different colors and stuff like that. This length and the style and the texture and everything, it just looks so realistic. I did tweeze my part and I took out my edges and then gelled it, gelled it down and then I added some pressed powder to my part. I use Revlon's Color Stay pressed powder in the color medium in my parting space. Yeah, so I got this off wig types and this wig was probably like $23 and I just think it's awesome. I've been wearing this wig for the last three days. I just love it so much. It, I don't feel insecure when I wear it because it looks so realistic. It looks like, it looks like it could be my hair or a really good sew-in or something. I just think it looks so pretty. Just gonna show you guys what it's looking like. With my other color that I, that I had, it doesn't look like this anymore. Like the yakky texture is gone out of it and the bump is gone. So next time when I wash this wig, I'm gonna try not to flat iron it because I kind of want to keep this, this bump. I'm gonna try to recurl the other color that I have because I realized that when I pin curled it, it didn't look that great. So I'm gonna try to curl it over again just to see what'll happen to it. If you guys have any more questions about this wig in particular, just put it down in the comment section and I'll answer it for you. Or you can just refer to my other video because it has more details about the cap construction and how I tweezed it and all that stuff. Now, I also did get Free Tress Lena in a number two. And the reason why I'm not gonna show you guys that wig on me is because I sold it. But I am going to insert a picture of what it looked like when I wore it on Monday. So I did wear it on Monday to work and it looks so wiggy on me. And I was so surprised because the blonde one that I have looks amazing. So I was like, I, I'm, I don't know why the number two looks so wiggy on me. So I posted my experience with my Lena in a wig group and two other ladies said they had the same experience that the lighter colors that they got, they don't look wiggy and they look awesome, but the darker colors that they got, for some reason it looked wiggy and it doesn't lay the same as the lighter color. So I was pretty disappointed with that and I felt super Super insecure when I wore it because it looked really wiggy. I don't know if it was it was really shiny the number two and then the way it fell was totally different from my blonde one. It, it just looks so wiggy even with me tweezing the part a little bit it looked pretty wiggy. So I went ahead and sewed that wig. If I do purchase Lena again it's gonna be one that's in color like an ombre or something it won't be a solid color. If I want to get the same kind of style as Lena in a darker color I'll probably try Sasha because Sasha seems to be a little bit different and the texture looks a little bit different too. Yeah, so that's pretty much everything I have to say with the show and tell about this wig. I think it looks amazing and it's definitely one of my favorite wigs and I wanna keep buying it. I wanna say thank you to everybody who watches my videos. If you're thinking about subscribing, go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.